Good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. Today I want to consider what it means to begin again. What it means to take God at his word and be given the opportunity to begin again. Because every day that we get up out of bed, every day that we walk into the day, brings the possibility of new beginnings. There are always new starts. There are always new adventures and new flowerings in our journey of faith. I certainly know that that is true. When we think we have arrived, when we believe that we've got it made, in one sense, we're truly lost. We become bored. And before we know it, we find ourselves slipping into lives of dull habit and mediocrity. More tragically, we lose our capacity for being surprised by God in our daily lives. Here is a question from God. A question from God that you can consider today. I am about to do a new thing Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Isaiah 43 and verse 19. Do not be afraid of taking these words very seriously. There is a bud in your life that is seeking to break forth. What could this mean for you? Wrestling with this question helps you to step out, to step out into the new beginning that God has in store for you. It could lead you into a closer walk with God, a deeper relationship with those near to you or even a new space in your life where new growth can take place. And so let us again pray this prayer. Lord, Give me the grace to begin a closer walk with you. Now consider the question that I have just posed from Scripture. Consider it as being specifically addressed to you. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? How do you respond to it? Are you willing to believe that he wants to do something new in your life? If so, what do you sense this this new bud may be? If no, what makes it hard for you to believe this good news? Perhaps today you need to be willing to ask God Perhaps today you are willing to ask God, Lord, 
as I seek to walk closer with you, help me to open myself to whatever new beginning you would like to initiate in my life. Now this is a daring request, but it will always rekindle the sense of adventure in your life with God. And so now I'm going to read some scriptures. Simply notice which ones in particular are significant for you. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in, and I will eat with that person and they with me. Revelation 3 and verse 20. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17 Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and they will not grow weary. They will walk and they will not faint. Isaiah 40 and verse 31 I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. I will remove their heart of stone from their bodies and give them a heart of flesh so they may follow my statutes, keep my ordinances and practice them. Then they will be led by my people. Then they will be my people and I will be their God. Ezekiel eleven nineteen to 20 And so today I don't have time to end with music. But I think this is a powerful invitation to sit with. The invitation to consider what it is that God is renewing in you today. Amen.